Welcome to Advan Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service tech for Advan Black, and today we have another video install for you. We're going to be installing the sport fairing on the 2021 Lowrider S back here. Now, while this install is a little bit time consuming, it is not complicated. If you follow along in my video to put all of the bracket pieces together, you can have this installed pretty quick. So if we get this up in the camera where you can see it, this is the color match. This is Midnight Crimson. This is the color of the bike back here. You can get this color match to your bike from Advan Black. So if I get this up in the camera so you can see it, this is made from heavy duty ABS. It is color matched from Advan Black. This is the Midnight Crimson. That's the color of the bike that we have back here and i'm going to show you how to get this installed on your bike so the first thing we need to do is remove our headlight assembly from the bike two bolts down here we're going to pull those and then unplug the headlight from the top and we'll get over here to the table and we'll start getting this assembled on the back side of your headlight it's going to look like this we need to remove these two bolts right here to take this bracket off i've already loosened these once again just to save a little bit of time and then you're going to pull this bolt out and remove this away from the headlight so we take these two bolts out we get rid of this and then we can take this bolt here washer system out to set that headlight forward we're going to bring in this bracket right here this is going to mount back to this so this part is up and these are facing up and out we'll go ahead and tighten these down so we've put our new bracket on we've got those snug down we're going to take these brackets like this these are going to go on here just like this see the long slot short slot long slot with the curve facing you with these two bolts up curve facing you we're going to take our original bolt and washer so we have another bolt washer split washer nut and spacer in the kit and that's what's going to go in here we're going to slide our spacer in here and bring this one up put that through through the other side split washer and your nut we're going to bring our fairing over into place bring our headlight assembly in we're going to let that set like that these brackets here are going to go on like this now inside your hardware kit you're going to have a little bolt like this this bolt has a phillips and a 10 millimeter on it you're going to have that a washer and a nut when you bring this up into place place it on the outside you've got your bolt through here your washer your other 10 millimeter nut We're going to do this on both sides. So you can see where I mounted it here and here. Now at this point with this laying flat, we can make minor adjustments later, but we're going to go ahead and snug this down so that way when we pick this up, this headlight doesn't swing around on us. going to snug these up two 10 millimeter bolts that we just put on that's just going to hold everything in place so when we pick this up the headlight doesn't swing forward smack our fender or whatever so now everything is secured you can kind of move it around and see what we're working with so the next thing we need to do is build our windshield mount you're going to have a flat piece of metal like this a black bolt a washer a nut and then our plastic mount that goes up to the windshield so now we have to build the part that goes up from here on the bracket up to our windshield you're going to have a black piece of metal in your kit like this this edged piece of plastic that's slotted here at the bottom we're going to put those two together You've got a black bolt that goes through there a small washer and then a nylock nut so that's going to mount here and go up to our windshield you're going to build the other one the same way Put it on it's going to go like this so your beveled edge is beveled this way and on this side it's beveled the other way 
in order to install that on the fairing if you look inside your hardware kit you're going to have a carriage bolt like this there's nothing on the outside it's just smooth button head bolt but on the inside it has the nut we're going to put our bolt our washer through the bracket to the inside make sure that you have your beveled edge facing the correct direction inside the hardware kit you got those 10 millimeter nuts that have the grooved edges on the back that's what you're going to use do that on both sides and leave those loose for right now from here we need to take our rubber grommets that are included in the kit and we need to insert them in these holes finish mounting the windshield once we have it on the bike because you can let the bike hold the fairing while you work with the windshield instead of trying to juggle all of that right over here on the bike on your handlebars you got three quarter inch nuts right here we're going to loosen those i'm going to bring that nut all the way down so you can see a gap in here we have a bracket that has to be mounted in here. We're going to take our mounting bracket like this and we're going to slide this into place, making sure it's pressed all the way in. Now once we set the fairing up into place, you're going to set that original headlight bracket right back down in here. The original two bolts that you pulled out will go back into that. We'll tilt the fairing forward. It's going to be hard to kind of get the camera in there. But these two brackets right here, you're going to have that carriage bolt, a washer, and a nut to put on there. And then we'll just get everything tightened down from there. So we're going to bring the fairing over using the original headlight bracket here. Set it right back down into place like that we got to reach in here and get this headlight plug back in and set this up into place go ahead and start our bolts in the bottom so it'll just hold it in place for us now i couldn't really get the camera in there very good so i've got it off the tripod right now so bear with me but those are the bolts that's the bracket that we installed underneath the handlebars and those are the loose bolts that we put in the side once you set the fairing down in there this piece rolls back and it has a cut groove into it that's going to roll in here you're going to push that bolt up into place it's a carriage bolt so this side here is just going to grab the square you put your washer and your nut on the inside you get both sides in and then you tighten that down so when we get ready to put the windshield on the bike, these two up here, these brackets up here, are going to go in there with a short screw and a flat washer. These two down here will go with the longer screw, a black flat washer, and a an nylock nut and a washer on the inside. Now we left those back brackets back there loose because once you get these bolts in and started, you can adjust them and then tighten them down where you want the windshield. We're just gonna snug that up a little bit. Do not over tighten this. So with this windshield, it is adjustable. When we snug these down here at the bottom, you're going to be able to move this top up or down. Now with this bike, we're just going to leave it flat back against the fairing and then tighten it down. So 
So now, so now all you have left to do is adjust your headlight. If you look up in there, you've got a pivot bolt in the back, that little system that we built in the beginning, and a pivot bolt in the front. You basically just want to loosen this, get the headlight up center into the hole in the fairing, and then you can adjust your height up and down. So that's pretty much it. We had several pieces, several bolts, nuts, washers, and brackets. But if you follow along in the video, you should be able to get this installed with no problem. So this bracket is for the Lowrider S with the inverted front forks. We do have other brackets for the Lowrider and the Street Bob. You can add this fairing to those bikes as well. It just takes a separate bracket. Make sure to check out the video description down below. It will have the link over to the T-Sport fairing and all of the fitment will be in there as well. So make sure to check that out. But if you have any questions, on this install, leave in the comment section down below and I'll try to help you the best that I can. I'm gonna get out of here, get myself back to work. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze.